Hello everyone. Okay, so the next program in chapter 8 is date printer. So write a program that reads a string from the user containing a date in the form month, day, and then year. Okay, so it should print the date in the form March 12, 2014. So it's going to allow, the program is going to allow the user to type in a date in this form and it's going to display the date in this form. All right, so let's start. So let's, I want us to create this program into functions. So the first function I want us to create is a function that's going to take in a, a date, a user's date in this form, and then change the format to this form. So I'm going to define a function, I'm going to call it change date format, okay? And if it's going to change the date format, then it needs the original format. It needs this original format, okay? So I'm going to define a parameter to represent that format, because when you call this function, you need to provide that format, this old format, so we so, we, so this function can change it to the new format. So I'll call this, um, I guess, original, or let's just call it user date, right? Because it's just going to be a regular user date, right? And so I'm going to call the split Function uh, on this other uh, the split the, sorry the split method on this on this um, value here, so the data we know is going to be in this, in this format here, right? So I'm going to call a split format on it. Sorry, this the split method on it. I'm going to refer to this date okay string, and I'm going to call split, and I want to split by this the for the forward slash the forward slash. And I, let me explain before I go any further. Let me explain. So the Python shell here, okay, is a way for you to test out simple code, right? You write code and it just gives you a response. When you type in one, hit enter, it brings you back one. When you type in one plus one, to hit enter, it gives you two. You don't have to even type print, although you can type print, say one plus two, and it says three. So the Python shell is a nice, quick way to test out your code. It doesn't affect this program, it doesn't. It's just a quick way for you to test things out. So when I call user date, this string value dot split, right? So this split is a function, right? But then when you apply a function to, I guess, a, well, an, when you apply to a function to an object, that's when it becomes a method. I don't know when you apply to a function to a string, I guess it becomes a method as well. But this is a function, um, or you can call it a method. So the split function is going to split, it's going to basically look for this forward slash in this string and then start splitting, uh, you know, splitting it. So if they, the person typed in the date in this format, it's going to split these individual values by, anytime it sees a forward slash, and store these individual elements in a list. So it's going to look for this forward slash, right? It sees one forward slash here, so it's going to split this value here, as this mm as one value to store in the list, and it's going to store this dd as one element to store in the list as well. So it's going to split, or basically you can, you can think of it this way. It's going to it sees a forward slash, it's going to store this value in a list, split it, and then keeps going, it sees a forward slash, it's going to store this dd in a list, and then it's going to store this y, 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 and y in a list as well. So it's going to split anytime it sees a forward slash. You can think of it as a knife, or it cuts it. In order to see it in action, let's test it out in the Python shell. So I'm going to define a date value in that format. I'm going to type in, let's say, December, you know, 25th, okay, 2018. This is Christmas, right? So I'm going to store that date format, that original format, in this variable. And I'm going to print out date.split. And I want you to split by this forward slash, forward, sl forward slash. When I hit enter, it creates a list of these individual elements. So It'll split anytime it sees a forward slash. All right, it'll split it. So it's storing these values because there's a forward slash, so it split it and stored this value here. And it's, 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 it's stored forward slash, so it split it here, and then it's stored 2018 here. So that's what it's doing. It's separating these values anytime it sees a forward slash. Okay, it's cut. You can think of it as a knife. Okay, so store these values in a list. That's important to know, right? In a list, each individual value uh, values in a list. So when we call user date.split, let's go back to a bug.io. When we call user date.split, the month is going to be in, in a separate, is going to be a separate value in a list. The day is going to be a separate value in a list, and then the year is going to be a separate value in a list. So first of all, 
we know what's coming back or what is, is it is going to evaluate into a list so let's call it user date values okay in a list we can call it that right <coughs> now to access let's go back to our Python shell just so I show you to access the individual elements in that list you can refer to we can refer to the list okay and then you can use the, the in indices or the index right the first element will have an index of zero second element will have an index of one this element will have an index of two right you can use indexes to access the, these element right there's no way to you target the name but when I go press the up arrow key to go back to my last command date dot split using the forward slash is what gave me this list and I can access it using the square bracket and index zero this looks like bad it looks kind of not bad syntax but it looks kind of rough and I don't want to confuse you when I hit enter it says 12 because I'm accessing the in this list here because this is what gave us this list I'm accessing the first element in this list and that's why it gave me 12 when I hit the up arrow key and type in one it's giving me the element tw 25 up arrow key hit or type in index 2 this is index 0 index index 0 index 1 index 2 it's going to give me 2018 but like I said this syntax is a bit rough and I don't want to confuse you what you should know that what you should know is that this value here is going to be a list right and if you wanted to access the first element in that list you have to use an index 0 that first element is going to be the month right so if I refer to this list here accessing the first element with square brackets and index zero that's the first element so it represents the month I can store that in a variable right that value is going to be the um, user date month value right and then I can do the same thing to get the day value and the way I do I'm going to make a uh, let's just refer to the list here so user date values in the list I'm referring to the second element with index 1 right first element has index 0 second element has index 1 and that is going to be our day user user date day value right so user date day value is going to be equal to that value and then the year value is going to be stored in index 2 so 0 1 2 that that third element is going to have index 2 so I'm going to refer to the list user date values list and I'm going to access the element at index 2 which is going to be our user date year value right so user date year value that variable is going to store that value Let's separate this out a little bit so we have the user date month value, user date day value, user date year value. We have these individual values. <coughs> Sorry. And then let's see here. We can do all of it here in one, or we can return. We can we can actually let this function return these individual elements, right? So once we, in Python you can return multiple um, values. So I'm going to return multiple values by using commas to separate them. The first value I want to return is the user date month value I want to keep the same format I'm going to use commas to separate them the next value I want to return is the user date day value and then the next value I want to return is the user date year value so I'm returning three values separated with commas now when you call this function and you're receiving these values you, you should also have three variables to receive these values that are coming respectively the first variable you have to receive the first value so the first variable you have okay outside of this I mean, when you call this function to receive these values is going to receive the first value you're returning here the second variable you have to receive these values is going to receive the second value you're returning here and so on and so forth but you see it in action so you know just hang in there so we're done with this function it's going to take that user date you know get change the um, just get the individual values and return them right so let's create our main function so in, in most programming languages the main function is where where you write your program that's that's the function that calls every other function that's the starting point of your program so it's good, it's good practice we always create the main function for our programs I'm going to define a main function 
and it's not going to accept any argument. So it's just the main function. And then what I want to do first of all is to ask the user to type in their date. Now you could have created a function for it, but since it's going to be one line using the input function, you don't. I'm not going to. Although you can, 